Hi, my name is Shubhreet and I'm a former business journalist turned influencer and today we're going to talk about how to be a mindful co-worker. It's important to address your own biases at work in order to be a mindful co-worker and not let these biases come in the way of your decision making and thinking. But do you know what unconscious biases are? These are subconscious or deeply rooted biases that get ingrained into your psyche maybe due to your upbringing or prior working or personal environment. At a workplace, these may emerge even without your knowledge. Even with the best of intentions, our actions in a workplace may end up in unfair treatment of some co-workers or alternatively favoring a few others. This can have a detrimental impact. Our tips that spell out fairness will help you address your biases and be a mindful co-worker. Number 1, a fresh perspective. Approaching a work situation with a different perspective can help you deal with biases. Consider discussing the matter with a reliable colleague to benefit from a fresh viewpoint. Number 2, awareness. It's important to be cognizant of the fact that as humans, all of us have some biases. Monitor your own behavior and strive to become aware of your own tendencies or extreme reactions. Acknowledging it in yourself is the first step towards tackling it. Next, interact with diverse colleagues. Working with and understanding a diverse range of colleagues will help you develop your own cultural competence and become more accepting of people. Number 4, reiterate and support. Show your support to inclusivity by calling out biased behavior. You could consider taking a step ahead and spreading awareness. Number 5, neutral language. Be mindful of the language you use. How you talk to people, are you addressing how they personally address themselves goes a long way. Choose gender neutral words that are inclusive while writing emails to colleagues. Next, educate yourself. It's never a bad idea to invest time in training. Consciously enroll yourself in trainings and programs that will help you better deal with your biases and gain a neutral stance. Number 7, apologize when wrong. Be honest to yourself and admit your mistake to a colleague if you end up doing or saying something that might have been biased against them. And lastly, slow down. Don't be in a rush to make quick decisions. Lessen the risk of biases by slowing down, questioning your initial choices, and then taking your time to come to conclusions. With these points in mind, you can be sure to become an amazing co-worker who is great to work with. Not to mention the impetus that it gives to your own career. That's all from us today, but stay tuned to Mahini for a lot more coming soon.